How about a little kiss? I ain't giving you no little kiss. Oh! Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. Cheers to another year of paying bills and doing shit we don't want to do in coinciding with idiots. Clean. <laughs> Since this is usually a time that people put resolutions out and things they want to change in their life or just goals that they want to do um, in the new year, like just to have a new beginning, or a fresh feeling in life. I want to talk today about fulfillment because a lot of people have come to me over the um, the New Year's Eve weekend and have told me that um, they want to work on fulfilling themselves this year. And these are child-free people, right? And that's why I wanted to make this video because a few people outside of the circle have said, "Well, it's easy. You guys can easily become fulfilled by um, just having kids." The reason I disagree with a child fulfilling my life or making that my main purpose in life, right? Because we usually create our purposes by finding out about ourselves and what we want to do in our life. But the reason why I think it's unfair is because for one, that child didn't ask to be here. And then I forced them to exist to make me happy. That doesn't sound right to me. It's it's their responsibility to make me feel whole and i will always have that criteria in my mind that the reason i had this child was to fill this gaping hole in my heart and many people say that yeah you do that with pets though but those are animals i'm talking about a human being and i notice when people follow this i had a child to be happy criteria the child ends up doing everything that the parent doesn't want them to do or they turn out to be um, everything other than what they programmed this child to be right because they're programming that's literally what that is I'm molding you and programming you so you can make me happy and if you're doing anything outside of that you're a disappointment to me um, I feel like I wasted my my time in my life I feel like I wasted my sacrifices I feel like I wasted everything I threw it all away just so I could create this basically a happy pill and the pill isn't making me happy so I don't want it anymore. I don't I don't love it the same or I don't look at it the same or I just view it as this object or as this source to make me feel good about myself. It's almost like a lot of people nowadays and even back then had children to feed their ego, right? Because the child is theirs, right? Because their, their child's seen as property or their child is seen as a um, extension of themselves. So they make and they force their kids to live through them. Or they live through their kids but at that point it's not even you it's not even using the child as fulfillment you're just using the child right you don't care about the child's happiness it's all about you and don't get me wrong I'm selfish in many ways but all of the good ways I take care of myself so I can take care of others I get my shit together and I handle my business so I can help other people do the same. And if there's anyone that knows me, they know that I love helping people. I love reaching out. I, I'm a very nurturing, passionate person. I always have been. Ever since I was a little girl. All I know is giving. All I know is nurturing. I'm the type of person to hug someone when they're crying, even if they don't ask me to. Right? I'm the type of person that hand out money to the homeless. And I, I don't know what they could be using the money for. But I just know I want to give it to them. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not stupid. Right? I'm not selfish and dumb. Now I've made stupid mistakes. And I'm selfish in many ways. But a child is not involved in there. It's not in my heart to bring a child here to fulfill this hole that I have. And to be quite frank, I don't have a hole to fill. And I'm pretty sure a child wouldn't feel it because I feel like most people, they kind of mix up fulfillment with distractions, right? A depressed person can get married in hopes that that marriage would um, fill that hole in their heart, right? When in reality, it's just a distraction from their actual pain. They may be happy with this person and their marriage may be amazing, awesome, lovely, but that marriage didn't cure their depression, it's like a distraction. It's like another responsibility to love this person and to be loyal to this person 
and um and keep work with your contract basically and kids are kind of the same way when you're having kids you're you're not really fulfilling a whole because there are people that have kids and they still suffer from mental health issues still suffer from uh self-esteem low self-esteem they still suffer from health issues everything that they thought would go away um because they they had this child that was supposed to be considered magical it's still there they're still suffering and half the time their kids end up suffering the exact same problems as them or they end up passing down to their kids um the things that they never thought would pass down through their kids hereditarily it's not really a fulfillment to me it's more like a distraction it's just another form of responsibility that you put on yourself you're not really filling in a hole i don't feel and i never have felt like that's going to complete my life i don't think my life is complete until i can wake up in the morning and feel and feel truly content with myself which i have i have so many people in my circle i don't think i need to have any kids i have like four nephews and three nieces and two godchildren and even though they're not mine, I love them dearly. So I don't think I really need, I don't need, like I don't wake up in the morning thinking about pregnancy or thinking about a man getting me pregnant or me, oh, I'm sorry, just saying that makes me uncomfortable. Anyways, <laughs> I don't think about um, pushing a baby in a stroller or, or teaching them about life or anything involving parenting. I, I don't think about that. Roses are red. Stop questioning what I do. Girl, shut the fuck up. I ain't gotta explain shit to you. When I'm talking about this stuff, I'm trying to spread awareness, which is why I'm making this video. Because fulfillment is not the same as filling a hole. Because filling a hole is just a distraction. That hole is still there. You may have filled it up, but you can easily, and someone or a bad incident or anything can easily scoop that stuff out those condiments out and then have that hole still right there because once you dig a hole it's really hard to get rid of it you may have covered it but it's still there D do you get my point do you see what i mean that's why i say you may have filled the hole but you didn't fix the problem you may have swept the room but you put that trash underneath that rug someone can easily lift that rug up and take that trash back out and expose your ass and then you're fucked up I can easily get shot or stabbed to put a band-aid over it in hopes that that's going to stop the blood. That's not going to make the bullet wound go away. That's not going to make that deep ass puncture go away from the, the knife I was cut with. It's still there. Just because it's covered by something doesn't mean that the issues that we're, that we're dealing with is, is gone. It's, that's the point I'm trying to make. When you're having kids to fulfill things, that's very harm, harmful to you and that child. That's the point I'm trying to make. When you have kids to fill in a hole, that's very harmful to both you and your child and your spouse. It's like people are having kids for the wrong reasons. Also, I'm thinking about my child. I don't want to do that to this innocent human. Children are so precious to me. Yes, they may be annoying and messy and nasty and a, a little dumb sometimes, but they're small humans, they're underdeveloped. I respect kids so much, I don't think I could have them for all the reasons that people are listing, which are all selfish reasons to me, because it's not about the child. I hear people talk about themselves and they boast all the time and then they cover it up with, I love my children. No, you love yourself. You love yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. But what's sickening to me is you trying to make it seem like you're this martyr when you're just someone that loves having their ego fed and your kids are the perfect source to do so. That's disgusting to me. And that's why I cringe so freaking hard. It's like someone running their nails through a chalkboard when someone says, my child made me better. My child fulfilled me. My child filled in this hole. They filled in this void. Or you should have kids to fill in your voids. I don't want to do that. I know people that have filled their void by traveling the world, by making new friends by stopping their addiction, by, um, I don't know, meditating. Some people have even um, converted to certain religions. The whole point I'm trying to make is that fulfillment isn't what you guys are making it to be. 
and a child should not be involved in that if you're going to fulfill yourself you need to work on your own shit it is not a child's responsibility to do that for you you are an adult you are grown a child shouldn't do that and you shouldn't hold that against them you know how much pressure that is for that that child i would know because i was that child the slightest mistake i made i was beat down for it right because originally it seemed like every child is a mistake right majority 97 percent of people that, e that even have babies didn't even try to but they end up just having the kid and making something good out of it to feed their ego because they were sleeping around and being irresponsible because they were just screwing and they had screwed their 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 brain up right they were just thinking to themselves maybe if we just screw now we'll deal with the consequences later and then boom a baby comes into the picture and this baby is just supposed to fix everything that they fucked up in in life that's not fair first you force this being to exist now you're forcing them to live a life that you want and not a life that they want because what people fail to realize is when you have kids you're not here to have them navigate your life it's not about you anymore you're navigating them it's their first time here they've never been here before it, at least in this sense i'm speaking of they've never been here before they need someone to help them navigate so while you're navigating your life you have to navigate theirs not the other way around you're supposed to help them form their personality. Help them realize their strong points and their weak points. Help them realize what's right and what's wrong. And what's actually right and wrong, not your version of right and wrong. And it's more than just trying. Because people say, well, I tried my best. You don't need to try your best. You need to do your best. Because you, you, you don't realize this child didn't ask to be here. I'm not that selfish. And it doesn't mean I'm better than everybody. I screw up just like you. I make mistakes all the time, but I fix it. And I don't make decisions that I know will screw me up later. I think before I do things. Majority of the time, if I know that it's right, I think before I do things. I don't just jump into action and then worry about my screw ups later. I, I jump into action right then. I've always been like that. And that's why it was so easy for me to decide not to have kids because I just always knew people ask me all the time well don't you feel empty don't you have this void you want to feel i don't and just because you do doesn't mean the next man does and even if i did have a void i don't want to fill it with children i'll just be a busy person navigating a human being it won't be anything special i'll just be busy all the time i'll be stressed all the time i'll be irritated all the time i'll probably even be angry all the time because now i'm stuck with something that i never wanted I don't understand that and if if that's your tea cool but don't suggest the next man to do the same because it fulfilled you because there are regretful parents out there there are people that wish they didn't fill that void that void that they thought they had to fill with the child i'm not trying to be next in line and i'm speaking about it because of awareness but i said what i said and i meant it all and I mean well, and this video was just to answer a question because someone had asked me. So hopefully that answered your question and hopefully all of that made sense. But this new year has been really nice to me so far. I've met a lot of friends and family again. I, I reminisced and I had this nice reunion with them. I was able to reach out to my inner child one more time and thank her for allowing me to make it to another year and being by my side the entire time. I've had to reflect on myself being in and out of the hospital. And um, though I feel better, I still have a lot that I need to work on. And I'm just glad that I have this community to do so with. And if there's anything you guys want to fulfill in, do that shit yourself. Work on it yourself. Don't make a child responsible for that. That's all I have to say. But I'm done preaching. I love y'all. Drink some water. Take your meds. Get some rest. Eat something. Put something on your stomach. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.